Back to the men's short program. Yevgeny Plashenko with that torn meniscus in his knee. He can no longer count on the consistency in his major jumps. I can land quadruple toe almost three practice. Well, and he actually did land one quad in practice earlier today. He's got a lot of work to do, though. Takeshi Honda's your leader. Jeffrey Buttle in second. Ryan Yonke in third. The score to beat, 77-54. But here is the reigning Grand Prix Final champ, the reigning world champ, Yevgeny Plushenko. So many question marks surrounding him as he opens up his Grand Prix series. <laughs> the quad combination. What a oh, again. <laughs> you know, I mean, that was just a beautiful quad triple combination that was first rate. Magnificent. The great ones are gamers. When the lights go on, the competition starts. They're there. Triple axle. Oh, double axle, double axle, double axle. That'll bring down the point level. Look at this circular footwork. I mean, can you take your eyes off this? Careful, Lutz. Now that's a much better sit position than I've seen him do in the past. Now that's a great improvement in that sit spin. Over last years, he's had trouble and not been a strong spinner. I'm like, that's great to see the development there. You know, the, this straight line footwork, watch how it fits the music. It's a footwork section, Dick. It always makes you think of Alexei Yagudin, who will announce his retirement from eligible skating here at Skate Canada. We'll have some coverage of that on ABC on November 16th. Well, you know, Yagudin has been a powerful, athletic, musical, creative skater and a solid competitor to boot. The competitive world is going to miss him. spin uh, that got a little sloppy at the end well it sort of seemed to go off kilter a little bit towards the end of the program however he hit the quad which he only did once in practice the last four days so better than expected early on in the program at least for him and the fact that he doubled the triple axle instead of tripling it uh, is not going to be too too expensive, I don't think, for him. 77.54, the, the number to beat, that of Honda. Watch the entrance into this quadruple toe. The stretch back, the tightness of the legs, the landing, and the step up into the triple toe. This circular footwork, look at the staccato moves, the tops, the starts. I mean, he doesn't let this one go. And he keeps it with the music, and that's what makes it good. And here, here in this camel spin, now the, it isn't in the best of positions. He doesn't do as good a position there as he did before in the sit change sit, but that's always wonderful that he gets that stretch out. And this back spin, okay, it sort of slows down a little bit and it travels a lot. Point one. The well, if it is a torn meniscus, it's uh, that's a pounding he's going to take all season long. It's going to get worse and worse. 77-54, the score of Honda to beat here. 38-80 for technical element marks here. 42-45, very high there for program components. So an overall total of 81.25 for Yevgeny Plushenko. That's enough to go into first place. He's got the lead over Takeshi Honda.